When it comes to music, Spotify naturally comes to mind. But how can you enjoy it if the music keeps pausing or the app itself closes immediately after it's opened? That seems to be the problem that some iPhone users encountered after updating their devices. In this video, we will show you what to do if Spotify keeps stopping the music or crashing on your iPhone 10 after iOS 14. First solution, close Spotify and force restart your iPhone. Most of the time, app crashes are minor app issues. They occur every now and then but they're not necessarily hard to fix. In fixing a problem like this, the first thing that you have to do is to refresh your phone's memory and reload all apps and services. Here's how. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Now, swipe up on the Spotify preview to close it. Do the same to other apps. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then do the same for the volume down button. Immediately after that, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger the iPhone to shut down and power back up. Once the reboot is finished, try opening Spotify and see if it still crashes. Second solution, uninstall Spotify and reinstall it. Another effective solution to this problem is uninstalling the app in question. Doing so will remove all its associations with the firmware and other apps. After that, reinstall the app to make sure you have the latest version. Here's how you do those things. Go to the screen where the Spotify icon is located. Tap and hold on its icon until options show. Tap delete app. Tap delete to confirm the deletion of the app. Once the app is successfully uninstalled, launch the app store. Search for Spotify, and then tap the install icon. Wait for the app to be successfully installed on your iPhone. When the installation is finished, tap open to launch it. Most of the time, these are the only things you need to do to fix an app that keeps on crashing. However, if for some reason the problem continues, then you have to do the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix this problem but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.